Happy to be joined by the new offensive coordinator here at Rutgers, John McNulty. I say new, but you were here when this program was really rolling. What did you learn in that time that you think you can apply to Rutgers football today? Well, a couple of things. I learned that there's tremendous support here in the area, tremendous alumni resources for the players while they're playing after they, they play here, and that there's a certain way we have to play here. We need to develop players. We need to play tough, hard-nosed football. We need to protect the football and the quarterback. And there's a certain style of play uh, that's needed. We can't just line up and be everybody else. We need to be aggressive. We need our guys to make plays down the field for us. And we need to finish plays. We need to out-effort people every week. Stay with the style. Most of college football spread. You're not spread. You're more traditional. Advantages that that formation and scheme give you. Well, I, I think it's a little bit harder for teams to fit and line up. You know, we'll try to do multiple shift in motions and a lot of different personnel groups. We'll try to use all the guys we can uh, that are available to give people problems and set up some schematic advantages. I just think it's unusual. You know, teams don't see it every week. They more or less... Maybe nine out of 12 games will be against the spread system, or we're one of the three that aren't. So, you know, we're looking for every advantage we can. We got a long way to go. Um, so that's where I think it helps us. Where's the balance? I know you want to score points. That's always a big thing uh, for you in this offense. But where's the balance between scoring those points and also not having the three and outs so regularly so you have the defense out on the field? Well, that's a good question. I, I mean, for us, it's protect the football, protect the quarterback, run the football. The run okay. game will generate the big plays and the, the shots down the field, play action, good, well-protected throws down the field. We just feel like we can't advance the ball in 15-play drives. We need to hit the 30, 40 yard chunk plays to be able to score. To me, college football, you got to score in the 30s to have a chance every, any week. Maybe it's 40s. And so uh, to think you can just knock your head against the wall and pound it, that's not going to be our style. But everything we do will come off the run game. And if we can't run the ball, we won't be able to hit the ball uh, shots down the field and, and we'll have trouble scoring. Give us an update on the running back depth. Well, you know, John Hillman's been a great uh, addition just for stability, leadership, a guy that's been around, very calm. Raheem Blackshear is probably our best player, and we have to find ways to, A, keep him upright all year and get him the ball a number of times each week. You know what? We had a count for Ray Rice that was like in the 35-40. I don't know if we could do that with Raheem. But we can use him as a receiver. We can find different ways to get him the ball. And Isaiah Pacheco and Trey Snead have been nice uh, compliments for those guys as well. You got an outstanding quarterback battle going on here. <laughs> yeah, everyone wants to yeah. know about it. So, so how about this? So, what is the guy going to have to be able to do to be able to be named the starter? Well, I think a to operate the operation at the line of scrimmage. I mean, we can't. We, we have to operate with poise. We have to make sure we can get everybody lined up. They have to know that the guy standing behind them is going to get everything straight for them at the line of scrimmage and operate efficiently. And I think um, they have to be able to hit those plays down the field. I mean, they have to be accurate with longer throws, which they aren't high percentage throws, but they're going to have to be able to hit them. And really, in the end, uh, Howard, I, I think it's going to come down to third downs. I mean, a young quarterback or an old quarterback, however it comes out, it's the play caller and the quarterback on third down. I think you got to give them a chance, but ultimately the quarterback has to operate to continue drives, and I think that's where a young guy could struggle. Part of the question then with hitting those chunk plays is who do you hit them to? Bo right. Melton had a really nice spring game. I think he's kind of a known commodity. Beyond him, who are some of the candidates to step up and be big play receivers well, for you? Well, Shameen Jones is really one of the best that we have at playing the ball in the air. He's tough. His body's changed tremendously. Just in the short time he's been here, he's a leader on that unit, and he's shown the ability to go get the ball. Um, then we have some younger guys. Eddie Lewis came in, Hunter Hayek. Really, the big thing is who's going to be the slot guy also, you know? Uh, we moved Jalen Jordan, who's a freshman, out to that X position. He's another guy that's potentially down the field. But when it comes back to third downs, the big battle is really going to be who can operate in the slot and win inside to convert those third and four to six type plays. Uh, John McNulty, offensive coordinator here at Rutgers. Thanks for your time, coach. Thanks, guys.